Welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I'm your host, Rabina Rasbron, a.k.a. The Realist Astrologer. And tonight, I'm going to be doing the chart of Chris Brown. And this is in response to uh, quite a few of my viewers. Over the past few months, they have requested that I look into Chris Brown's chart and also his relationship with Rihanna and Karuchi. So part one is just going to deal with his natal chart and numerology. And then in part two, I'm going to get into the relationship compatibility between him and the females that he has dealt with. So Chris Brown was born on May 5th, 1989. Now being born on the 5th, that makes him a very intellectual and communicative Taurus. Um, it also makes him very flexible and very versatile. So that deals with uh, his flexible body even. So that makes him a good dancer. Uh, he also has a life path number of a 10 and a 1. But let me go back to the 5 again. So 5s are very intellectual. However, 5s can also be rather volatile. And when they get angry, you may not see it coming when they lash out. So with that 5, oftentimes the person seems like they're just, you know, free flowing, laid back, easy going. However, at the end of the day, he still is a Taurus, and Taurus is very stubborn, very obstinate, and they don't like being forced to do something against their will. So when they're forced or their back is up against the wall, they do have a tendency to lash out. So with him being a five, he really has that tendency because five is very volatile. He's also very vocal and very opinionated, which could get him into trouble too. More on that in a minute. Now, I noticed that he doesn't have any fire in his chart, and that's a serious problem, especially for a man, because fire is masculine energy. It's also about your individuality and how you assert your individuality. So with no fire in his chart, it makes sense why Chris Brown is so quick to get fired up because it's overcompensation for lack of fire. Um, he tends to get fired up, he tends to blow up, and he tends to just lacks self-control. So in my professional opinion, it's because he lacks that fire in his chart and he's trying to overcompensate. And what makes it even worse is he has his Mars in Cancer and it's right next to his Chiron in Cancer. So with Mars conjoin Chiron, he could already feel like, you know, there's some issue with his manhood or he has to like really try hard to assert his individuality. And in Cancer, that's hard because he's more prone to direct his energy inward. And also he's very subjective and he lacks objectivity. So he has a tendency to take everything personal. So with that Mars and Cancer, his actions are largely dictated by his emotions. So for a man in particular, that could be very uh, dangerous because if a man is ruled by his emotions, and you couple that Mars aggression energy in it, then it can produce somebody that's rather violent. So his life path number is a 10. That breaks down to 1. So that makes up for that lack of fire in his chart because 10 and 1 deals with Leo energy. Leo is a fire sign. 10 deals with leadership. 10 also deals with uh, being a performer, which he is. Also, 10 deals with associations. So with, through association, you can either have major come-ups or you can meet your downfall. So he's had both. So in terms of his downfall, it's mainly been with the women that he's been with. So tens have to be very careful of who they surround themselves with or who they get into a relationship with. Now, like I said, his Mars is conjoined to Chiron and Cancer, and it's opposing his Uranus and Capricorn. Now, that makes him uh, blow up. That's the eruption aspect right there it also makes him very rebellious it can make him very reckless at times and it makes him very willful so that's the aspect right there where you know he feels like his manhood is being challenged and then he lashes out that aspect can lead to accidents violence sudden upsets sudden upheavals he also has his Mars in sem uh, semi-square to his moon. That can make him very impulsive. Again, that deals with him uh, Him basically, his anger is wrapped up in his emotions and he has a hard time getting control of himself. Very impulsive. He does things spontaneously. And that also makes him rather cranky and irritable a lot. And that also speaks about his difficulties with women. He also, uh, like I said, he has Mars in Cancer. Mars and Cancer for a man, usually that means that 
he has a strong desire to be with women, to always have a woman on his arm. However, Mars and Cancer can easily bring conflicts through women or with women. Now, his Juno is at the 27th degree of Leo. Juno deals with the main B for uh, bone of contention and relationships. So the fact that it's in Leo, again, it's about him trying to assert his manhood. Also, uh, him being probably uh, really jealous when uh, he's in a relationship. And also him being kind of like really bossy and domineering. So I'm just going to read some of the uh, drama that he's gotten caught up in before I delve a little bit deeper into his chart. So we all know about uh, the domestic violence that occurred between him and Rihanna, and this happened in 2009. So according to Wikipedia, Brown received significant media attention after pleading guilty to felony assault of his then-girlfriend singer Rihanna. He was sentenced to five years of probation and six months of community service. And uh, if my memory serves me correctly, he did say in an interview after the fact that when he saw the photos of Rihanna, he felt like he was a monster and he was saying that that's not him at all. Well, that Mars opposition Uranus aspect can deal with like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type of personality. He also has Mercury conjoined to Jupiter and Gemini, which can produce that Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde personality. As you know, Gemini is very two faced. So, uh, it makes sense that he's saying that, you know, he is really not like, he's usually not like that or he didn't expect himself to, you know, act in that way because a lot of times with that opposition, he's not really conscious of how far his anger can go until it actually goes there. And also just with him being a Taurus, see, Taurus likes things really peaceful and serene and everything. And even in an interview, um, he did with his mother. His mother was saying that growing up, he never showed any anger. He, you know, he wasn't violent or anything like that. So she was really surprised that he ended up being, you know, like that. But that could deal with the progression of his planets after his birth. Um, basically, he's more volatile now than what he, when he was as a child. And that could deal with the certain women in his life. That could deal with the fame and all of that stuff. Being under a lot of pressure, not being able to deal with the fame that well. Mars and Cancer, um, that can produce that because usually with Mars and Cancer, you're very personalized. You're very, uh, very closed in, very subjective. So it's going to be kind of hard living your life in the public eye. He also has his son opposition Pluto, and that can deal with being in a life that is very prominent where, you know, you're, you're very popular. You have a lot of power, but at the same time, it's easy to get caught up. And sticky situations, it's easy to get caught up in criminal activity with that Pluto bearing down on his son. Now, other legal issues that he's had. On June 14, 2012, Drake and his entourage were involved in a scuffle with Brown at a nightclub called WIP. Uh, eight people were injured during the brawl, including basketball player San Antonio Spurs, Tony Parker. Uh, he actually had to get a piece of glass removed from his eye. Also, in January 2013, Brown was involved in an altercation with Frank Ocean over a parking space outside a recording studio. In January 2013, press reports indicated that there were irregularities in the records submitted to the court concerning Brown's community service. He seems to have been credited with community service work when he was actually out of the United States. So, again, that deals with that Mars opposition Uranus, actually Mars conjunct Chiron opposition Uranus because Chiron actually exacerbates those rebellious tendencies that he has because Chiron is very rebellious as well. Uh, Chiron is where you be, basically you feel like you want to be the exception to the rule. Um, so that deals with that. He's very rebellious and he doesn't like to follow rules, which is, which goes very much against Taurus. Taurus is usually good with following the rules and upholding the status quo, but See, this explains why he's so reckless and he's so volatile is because he got that Mars opposition Uranus. He got Sun opposition Pluto, Mars semi-square moon. So that makes him a very unstable Taurus. On October 27, 2013, Brown was arrested for felony assault in Washington, D.C. The fight allegedly started when two women wanted to take a picture with Brown in front of the W Hotel. Two men saw Brown and attempted to join them in the photo. Brown allegedly said, I'm not into this gay shit, I'm into boxing. And he and his bodyguard threw punches at one of the men. 
The victim claimed he was injured and that Brown had broken his nose. Initial police reports stated that Brown's bodyguard threw the first punch, but later reports stated that it was Brown's punch that broke the victim's nose. So again, there it is again where he feels like his manhood was challenged, so he's lashing out. So a man that has Mars and Cancer and supposing Uranus and Capricorn, he may have what some may call homophobic tendencies where he's like really, af he's afraid of being perceived as gay. When I say homophobic tendency, I'm not saying he's afraid of gays, but where he's afraid of being perceived as gay or where he's afraid that somebody might, you know, think he's too soft or whatever. And with Mars and Cancer, sorry to say, he is rather soft. So um, he's constantly fighting and constantly trying to overcompensate for that lack of fire that he has in his chart and for that Mars and Cancer. Mars could join the Chiron, could just make him feel like he's just kind of weird or odd or not the man that he really wants to be, where he feels like he has something to prove. On October 30th, 2013, Brown voluntarily decided to enter rehab. Brown's representative said in a statement, Chris has elected to enter a rehab facility. Brown was expected to stay in the facility for three months. On November 14, 2013, however, Brown was kicked out of the facility for breaking program rules by acting violently. So there it is again. He cannot play by the rules. He's very rebellious. In December 2013, at another hearing, Brown's probation in the Rihanna assault case was revoked. The judge felt that the criminal complaint in D.C. is enough proof that Brown did not obey all laws. Uh, another thing about Chris Brown, his south note is in Virgo, which is a very volatile sign. Um, Virgo doesn't handle stress well. Um, Virgo is constantly nitpicky and constantly upset about things. So to me, he's very much living through his south node in Virgo, but also his north node in Pisces, which uh, points to him being the artist and the dancer and all that stuff. But he's still living a lot through his south node in Virgo because, like I said, he easily gets upset. He easily, you know, gets, like, irritated and whatnot. And that Mars semi-square moon points to that big time. Now, he confirmed on February 25th, 2015, that he was rejected entry to Canada and would be canceling a part of his tour there due to criminal history. Brown is currently banned from entering Australia and the United Kingdom. So that right there deals with Mars in Cancer conjoined to Chiron in Cancer, opposition Uranus and Capricorn. Capricorn deals with government. Cancer deals with countries or nations. And then with that Chiron involved, that can deal with getting some type of penalty or getting banned or some type of extraordinary circumstances that prevent you from going into that country. In the early hours of August 30th, 2016, a woman called 911 to report that Brown had threatened her with a gun inside his house. Police were called, but Brown denied them entry without a warrant. When they returned with one, Brown refused them entry and began what news sources referred to as a standoff. That is the epitome of Mars opposition Uranus. Again, him being re rebellious, having a standoff, but that's also his son opposition Pluto too because that's criminal activity right there. So basically he said that he was innocent and he says in one of the videos, what I do care about is you are defacing my name and my character and integrity. Brown was arrested and later released from jail on $250,000 bail. So Chris Brown has a pretty bad when I look at his chart. It basically comes down to him basically lacking self-control. But the thing with Taurus is they tend to have a lot of self-control. They tend to be very poised, tend to be very peaceful unless things get to an absolute uh, crescendo where they can't take it anymore and then they lash out but it doesn't take Chris Brown much and the proof is in the astrological pudding when I look at his chart with that opposition between Mars and Uranus Mars semi-square moon uh, sun opposition Pluto he has it pretty bad but the good thing is uh, hopefully the older he gets the more he can mellow out and become more of that peaceful Taurian personality that he is supposed to become um so his sun is in Taurus, but also his moon is in Taurus. So he has some strong Taurian energy, but that Mars and Cancer outweighs both of that, in my opinion, because he just cannot stay calm. He cannot just stay, you know, peaceful. He is just all about trying to assert his manhood, trying to overcompensate for that lack of fire in his chart. So that's part one. Stay tuned for part two, where I get into the relationship compatibility between him and Rihanna and Karuchi. Peace, many blessings.